G'day guys, it's a coach here, and this is a topic of the week response video from Radio Free Hammer Hall, who's restarted this wonderful series. It used to be going back all the way to Warhammer Fantasy Battles. Now, the topic of the week is talking about hobby and balancing your life. So I might play Paul's video first and we'll see exactly what Paul has to say. And um, maybe I'll give my two cents. And if you are new to Topics of the Week, uh, I would encourage you to pop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your response is on how you find a balance. But without further ado, Paul, kick us off. In light of this guy hanging out with me right now, um, what I was thinking was what everyone does to balance their home life and their hobby. You know, a lot of us are married with kids and have responsible careers and all of those sorts of things. So what do you do to balance all of that and uh, still keep your hobby active uh, and everybody in the family happy? Oh, and and that's, a big, that's a big question. How do we balance hobby and life and priorities? And uh, maybe I'll, I'll share with you where I'm starting from. So uh, I am a working professional. I work in a corporate gig. Uh, I work in financial services, so banking. I am married. Uh, I don't have any kids. Uh, however, I do have plenty of things that draw my attention over the working week or even outside of the working week. So I think it's an interesting question when you think about how do you balance hobby with the other aspects of your life? And if you're like me, you have other interests. You have um, some type of fitness or some type of sports. You like to play video games. You like to watch television. You like to do things. You like to go out and spend time with your friends and your family and spend time with your partner. I walk the dog. You know, I've obviously got a, a corporate gig, so I'm doing plenty of corporate work. Uh, not that being a corporate worker is any different to being a blue collar worker but you know we're all very busy you know we all have certain energy that we get to contribute to the hobby so maybe i'll start thinking about how i see the hobby the i see the hobby and i and it's no different to you know in my life which is the work life balance and I, I don't believe in work-life balance. I don't think that there is a there is a you know a seesaw where you know there's work and there's life. You know, to me, everything is intermingled. It all kind of works together, and all of my interests, all of my hobbies, and all of the things that I do are merged together. When I go to work, my my life outside of work doesn't stop, and nor when I go home does work stop. So, you know, when I think about the hobby, I think about it co-mingling with all the other priorities in my life. Uh, again, mentioned spending time, going to the gym. So with that in mind, I try to think about how do I make them coexist? How do I prioritize Warhammer, but also prioritize spending time with my family, doing those things that I need to do um, and, and make them co-mingle and where from a productivity point of view, I can, I can reap benefits. And that, that sounds very corporate of me. So I apologize that, that the businessman's coming out. But if I think about, you know, some of the examples of this, when I go to a tournament, um, health and fitness is important to me. You probably see me, you know, always drinking these big jugs of water on stream. Um, you know, I always try to eat healthy. I try to exercise. I go to the gym. I go do different things. But when I go to a tournament, I always struggle with the types of food that is at events. Often they're very fast food, they're very quick food, pies and hot dogs and, you know, things that aren't going to work with my 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 fitness interests. So I meal prep, I'll uh, I'll make my, my lunches and I'll bring them to the tournament. I'll make sure that I've got a lot of water. I'll bring nuts to snack on. I'll bring different things to help me stay engaged with my fitness interests, even though I'm playing Warhammer. And then the reverse is true. When I'm at work and I'm listening to podcasts or I'm uh, I'm doing things around the house, maybe I'm mowing a lawn, I'm cooking dinner, there are ways to integrate the hobby. Sometimes, and I, I might uh, occasionally do some hobby when I'm on a, a Zoom meeting or, you know, a, a conference call, make, make the camera a little bit higher up and I'll, I'll you know, scrape some mold lines or I'll, I'll glue some parts, you know, to the side. But, you know... I, also, there are ways like I could listen to my favorite content creator. I could listen to my favorite audio library to immerse myself in the hobby when I'm not in the hobby. I could be getting involved in chats. I could be, you know, when I think about the hobby, the hobby isn't just painting. It's a community. It's the activities that um, 
that I can do that are all around the hobby. So in my lunch break, um, I get to work from home. So I'm really lucky at the moment to be able to work from home. So I can spend half an hour or 20 minutes, put down a wash, let it dry while it's working and then come back to it in the afternoon. I think it's important when I think about my hobby journey is not letting it take over my life. That, and that's true to any hobby or any interest. One thing should never overtake your life. So being conscious of uh, and being respectful as well of my hobby staying in certain rooms, uh, making sure that, you know, it doesn't overspill into my life and making sure that I still allocate time that is sacred to my wife, to my dog, to my family, to the gym, where sometimes I just need that pure white space. But at the same time, um, there are ways where you can really pick your battles and try to find that those those wins. Um, now, if you're someone who is struggling because, you know, you do have kids and I get to talk to a lot of people who have got kids and a lot of my streams really kick off late is because they're putting their kids to bed. They're, uh, you know, got to cook dinner for them, you know, sing them lullabies, put them, you know, give them a wash. And, and that might mean that your hobby doesn't start until much later when the kids go to bed, you know, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Maybe it's just finding that 30 minutes or an hour either before the kids wake up and maybe it means you getting to wake up at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, a little bit earlier than you normally would or going to bed a little bit later to sneak in a little bit of hobby. And if you think about putting half an hour of hobby together every day, if you just dedicate 30 minutes of hobby every day, that is three and a half hours a week of pure hobby, let alone if you are able to find an hour or two hours to to then go do a, a dedicated session to tuning to Warhammer Weekly and, you know, paint while you're listening to, to Vince and Tom, for example. Um, I catch the train as well. So there are ways that I could be planning painting schemes. Like you're watching painting tutorials. So the minute I get to the painting desk, I have a log of exactly the color combinations that I need. Um, I've gone onto Google images and I've saved uh, particular photos or I'm basically, I use the time away from the painting desk to prepare myself for the painting desk. So when I get to the painting desk, I'm not just messing around looking for color schemes. I'm not looking through, you know, what are the right combinations. When I go into the CBD or go into the city, I can go in and I know what paints that I need and what paints I don't have. So I can go out and grab them. And as opposed to getting to my hobby table, like, oh man, I don't have Euro yellow to do, you know, some base highlighting or, or you know, edge highlighting or what it might be. So again, it's not about the amount of time that you contribute to the hobby but rather it's the productive hours and the time. And if you think about how you can balance your life, it is finding those ways to integrate it so that you you keep those priorities, the health, the family, uh, your work, your, your partner, having a day off. You know, maybe, you know, my, my wife is not into hot Warhammer, but she's also not against Warhammer. So it might just be, sitting up and and not doing any painting for one day a week and that's date night it might mean like me i do a majority of my painting in the lounge room the living room so while my wife watches crime dramas we put on south park or seinfeld and she, you know she's probably scrolling instagram or you know doing some online shopping or whatever she is doing at the time i can still hobby and be present in the room and be responsive should there be a question, should we want to chat, should something happen, but I'm not hiding out in a little hobby den all day, every day, and, and living you know, completely separate lives. That's just a couple of ways that I look at the hobby, and I look at how I try to balance life, and I try to balance hobby. Uh, again, they are not uh, independent, rather they are coexisting together, so it's about finding ways to synergize them and to make the most of my hobby time. And as you can imagine, as someone who's also creating content, for someone who runs events, for someone who is doing more than just painting, you've really got to pick your battle sometimes. And sometimes it might mean that I can't go uh, enter the, the greatest painting competitions known to man like Golden Demon, or I just need to put other things to the side while I really focus on a particular goal. So look, there's a couple of tips. I feel like I'm getting to a point where I might be rambling, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, how do you balance your your family and how do you balance your other aspects of your life and um 
leave them in the comment section. I think everyone on, on, on this channel is going to come from different perspectives, different walks from life. Some people are going to have kids. Some people aren't going to have kids. Some people are video gamers. Some people are going to come in from, you know, health, health enthusiasts. Some people are primary carers. You know, there's so many different people here that I think we could all learn from each other. So, um, please leave them in the comment section. And as you guys know, I do have a Discord service. If you want to continue the conversation, share your tips, discuss it with other people, I'd highly encourage that, again, you go down the comment section and you check out the Discord server link where we can chat and share more. But, uh, Paul, that is my response to the topic of the week. I hope you found that discussion valuable. If you did, give the video the old thumbs up. And if you have a comment or an insight, leave it in the comment section below. The champions over here are my AOS Coach Patreons and YouTube members. So you guys are bloody legends. Thank you for all the support. If you want to know more about the support programs, the links are below down here in the episode description, along with the link to the Discord server, so we can continue this conversation. Until next time, don't forget to name your characters and have a good one.